What's up, Nail Geeks, and welcome back to Hella Handmade Creations, April 2024. We've got quite a few pretties to check out this month. If you're new to Hella Handmade Creations and what the heck this is, it's a monthly collab where makers get to choose their series for polishes that they're going to be inspired to make pretties for us for. So if you follow along each month after, say, sometimes in my experience, it's been six months, the makers will have a, basically a full collection of whatever fandom, theme, anything like that. And I've seen themes all the way from animes to video games to uh, sciencey sort of stuff, all kinds of stuff. So on each of the polishes, I will list what their specific theme is. So this month, I've got a few to show you all. So without further ado, let's dive right in. And first up is Bees Knees Lacquer. This is Spread Your Wings, described as a pale pink pastel multi-chrome base with aqua to blue shimmer and a scattering of silver light reflective glitter. This is part of their Belladonna the book series. Price is 14 and there is no cap. Spread Your Wings has a wonderful, almost jelly-like formula to it. However, it's so saturated full of shimmer that it almost had a curly type pull in how it applied it on those brush strokes. This is so shimmery good. It did lean quite a bit on the neutral side against my skin tone, so I think it is going to play up against any skin tone across the board, but it is incredibly flattering. That shimmer is chef's kiss. I'm going to suggest three coats and a plumping glossy top coat, and Dom brings us tappy feet. This is described as a blue jelly base with sapphire ultra holographic glitters, assortment of metallic gold glitters, and gold reflective glitters. This one's $13.50 with a cap of 100 bottles and is part of her Hello Kitty and Friends series. I do love me a good micro glitter and I do classify this as such. It is more of a chunkier type of glitter finish. Kind of reminiscent of Zoya Pixies, if you are familiar with that. So I'm going to suggest doing a bit of an icing method where you use the texture from your previous coat to adhere your next coat. Go in really thin with this one. You'll want to stop at two possibly thin coats, depending on the width and how big your nails are. I have big, giant, chunky nails, wide load nail problems, so I did go up to three very thin coats. My full hand shot, you are seeing a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat as this is thirsty and textured. And Emily Damali brings us yellow smelt quartz. This is a yellow base with a large particle blue to shifting shimmer, part of her rocks and minerals series. Price is 12 and there is a cap of 320 bottles. I do appreciate a good bright sunshine yellow and this is one of them. Add in that beautiful foil like shimmer and I am sold. This is so flattering and I love this yellow foily type spin. It's it's gorgeous. It's like a white toned type of yellow, which is one of my favorite types of yellows. I stopped at two coats for this as it does have a beautiful plumping type formula. If you tend to polish on the really, really thin side or you're rocking super long nails, you might need that third coat. And Femme Fatale brings us Wings of Icarus. This is a translucent, soft pink jelly base with strong teal to blue to purple shifting shimmer and hollow micro flakes. This one's 13 with a cap of 250 bottles, part of her Romanticism Through the Arts series. So we have another jelly-like formula here, and it built up really easily for me at three coats. This is what I would consider more of a softer type of finish. And yes, I had perfect coverage and opacity at that third coat, but at really, really bright lights, you'll see just maybe the tiniest, tiniest bit of your free edge. Again, soft sort of finish here. I'm going to suggest three coats. It did have a plumping factor to it, but... I had no issues with over buildup or anything like that. It does run on flat because it's so packed full of shimmer. So again, I would suggest a thicker, plumping, glossy top coat. And Hearts and Promises brings us Shaggy. This is a neon green base with orange, gold, and red shifting Aurora shimmer. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. And this is part of her Scooby-Doo series. I do love a white toned, slimy, neon green and this is one of them i feel like this is a little bit at least from my experience working with chrissy over the years uh, a little bit out of her comfort zone i dare say i don't usually see these types of finishes for her and i love it this is so lovely 
it is quite plumping and very swishy. So I would suggest thinner coats on this one. And if you have any type of free edge, three coats, thin ones with well, a gloss top coat will be perfect. And Luna Lacquer brings us, I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. This is described as a yellowish, goldish shimmer base with gold flecks and gold reflective glitters. This is part of her Star Trek series, price is 12, and there's a cap of 100 bottles. So we have a reflective glitter sort of finish. It behaves like a straight reflective glitter and how it dries down. You can kind of get an idea of that between my coats there. I'm going to suggest going in thinner on this one as the formula is quite viscous, quite thick. So you'll want to just slowly, gently build this one up. This is what I would consider almost like an antique sort of gold in the base color. So it's going to play up against your skin tone, depending on what your undertones and what your general tone is. I'm going to suggest a glittery smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat as this is very thirsty and textured. And Night Owl brings us the incredible sulk. This is described as a chartreuse curly base with multi-chrome flakes that shift orange to copper to gold. Price is 12 and there is no cap and it's part of her Bob's Burgers series. I gotta say this entire little, I guess, collection for lack of better words from Night Owl for her HHC series. These names are hilarious and I'm loving them every single month. So the Incredible Sulk has a Crelly formula, a true Crelly formula in my opinion. It's silky smooth on application. I think three coats is perfect for opacity and finish with a good glossy top coat. No issues with texture or thirstiness or anything, but it did have a little bit of smoothing necessary because it's so packed full of those little flakes. And Pampered Polishes brings us Bugs and Kisses. This is described as a green when warm to black when cold thermal with blue shimmer, blue micro flakes, and iridescent larger flakes. Price is 13 and there is no cap. This is part of her Halloween themed series. So we have an incredibly reactive thermal going on here. I was very impressed that I didn't need to kickstart this with say ice water or any warmth or anything like that. It was immediately transitioning on my first coat there. The warm state is a uh, lighter type of green shade. It almost has this jellyish sort of appearance and you can get an idea of that on my ice water shot here. The cold state is what I would consider a warm type of black, not brown per se, but it does have a warm lean to it. I think the flakes and the shimmer here pop really well on both states. It's got a finer particle type of shimmer and micro flake to it. So it's going to give you that delicate sort of shimmery effect. And Paradox Polish brings us Start Your Engines. This is described as a cherry red base with a hollow hollow silver magnetic pigment and black and silver metallic flakes. This one's 1350 with no cap. This is part of her RuPaul's Drag Race and All Stars series. This has a jelly like formula. It behaves like a jelly. However, as you are applying it on those brush strokes, it's got a wonderful creamy plump type of feel to it. For that reason, I stopped at the second coat. I tend to go in very heavy handed, mind you, when I do magnetic polishes because I want as much magnetic pigment to work with as possible. This looks beautiful unmagnetized. It almost looks like a linear hollow when you don't magnetize it. But of course that magic pops whenever you magnetize it. How many times can I say that word? And it looks great either way. So your preference on how you want to wear it. I personally really like it with the special effect. You want to finish with a good glossy top coat as it does dry down quite flat. And Rogue Lacquer brings us Lost Boys. This is a brick red base with micro orange glass flake and a splash of hollow. This is $12.50 with no cap, part of her Peter Pan series. I so love grungy types of brick colors like this. I really like it. I think it just reminds me, or rather it gives me these 90s sort of vibes. And I'm still a big fan of like mauve sort of makeup, brown lipstick, things like that. Same thing for nail polish too. I, I just really enjoy these types of colors. This has a creamy type of formula with a very harsh dry down. So I'm going to suggest two coats and a plumping glossy top coat, maybe a glitter smoothing top coat if your top coat is on the thinner side. And Sassy Sauce brings us You Light Up Our Lives. This is a lavender base with linear hollow effect and hollow micro flakes. Price is 13. There's a cap of 300. And this is part of her shoes series. 
When I swatched this one, I felt a certain type of way. I don't know if it's just the base color, if it's just the straight hollow flake sort of finish, whatever it is, I love this one. It's so delicate and it reminds me of, I don't know, it just made me feel like a princess. This is just one of those types of polishes. It's really pretty and such a beautiful base color. I love it to pieces. I'm going to suggest three coats and a glossy top coat. This does have a crelly-ish sort of cream type way in how it builds up. So just be mildly cautious and over build up and finish with a good glossy top coat. And lastly, we've got Zombie Claw. This is getting twiggy with it. Described as a glow in the dark green base with blue electric shimmer. Price is $13.50 and there's a cap of 100 bottles. And this is part of her Powerpuff Girls series. It does state in our PR information that for best results to charge it in a UV light. I do agree with that. Any swatcher or even you know, myself too, duh. But uh, we always charge our glow in the darks with a nail lamp or something like that. And that's how you get this ridiculous glow in the dark effect that you see on the swatch photo there. This has a jelly like formula to it. I think you're going to see a bit of visible nail line if you have a prominent one, regardless of how many coats you do. So I'm going to suggest two, possibly three coats. Again, this is a soft type of finish. And we're going to wrap this up with the Willet Topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to determine if a polish has versatility for layering. For the most part, we have a lot of jellies. And of course, those are always going to work. BKL looks stunning over black. Dom works really well. Please note there is a blue tint in person. Emily Damali is a foil, so it's going to, of course, pop ridiculously well over black. I think you can get a little creative with this one. Femme Fatale has a jelly-like formula. It's on the lighter, more delicate side. So yes, it works. It's beautiful and quite shifty over black too. Just be mindful of the pink tint. Hearts and Promises, in my opinion, is... Too squishy, too neon, too topper. I like it by itself. Luna Lacquer, yes, in theory it works, but I do think it's too opaque to, to topper. Night Owl is a Crelly, and yes, it works, but I would stick with matchy match colors if you're going to topper this. Pampered Polishes, eh, I don't know. I think this is too, again, it's very squishy, kind of like the Hearts and Promises, too squishy, too jelly. It works over light colors, but I wouldn't recommend it. Paradox also has an interesting effect over black, but I liked this one too much on its own to suggest toppering. Rogue behaves like a cream over black, so technically it works, but again, I personally wouldn't topper this. Sassy Sauce works, but it is very heavily tinted, so you'll want to stick with blues, purples, periwinkles, the like. And Zombie Claw, of course, it works. You're not seeing a whole lot of that green tint, though, on the video, so just be cautious of that. So HHC's pre-order is going to start April 14th and is going to run until April 21st. I will have the links for Hella Handmade Creations in the description box below, including the Facebook group if you want to see additional swatches and all of the other makers that are in this month, there's quite a few. So I highly encourage you go browse the website. The preview by the time I get this video up should be up on the official site. All the information will be in the description box. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.